In, in this market where labor is available for a relatively cheaper rate, we have inexpensive labor accessibility. Would you say that uh, just moving towards AI would be the smarter option? And would contractors and construction companies want to do that given the market situation? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good question. The heavy machinery, there's one utilization or use of AI there. When we look at um, labor force where uh, we are actually managing the optimal amount of labor on site mm -hmm. um, because as you mentioned you know uh, inherently we see you know a, a vast amount of labor that uh, actually on the construction sites do we need uh, that amount of labor when we uh, if we look at other areas like Europe or the US where the cost of a tradesman is uh, very high, uh, then they are going to look at uh, better utilization of those labor uh, people on site because it's an added expense. Right. So optimizing uh, where the labor is to be on a job site, uh, making better use of those individuals. Um, we have technology uh, such as CrewSight, for example, that can actually track labor. Uh, what do you think, Dennis, of that? Do you think that level of automation is really required in this region when you, when you talk about on-site? I think the question would need to be asked as to, we've got multiple parts to the problem. We've got the design stage, we've got the fabrication initial off-site stage, and then we've got the on-site stage. The on-site stage is, is, is particularly challenging from that point of view because to automate it is very difficult. When you're doing your pre -prepare preparatory work for delivery to site and you're planning, automation could come into play in those environments because the investment is worth the return. You mm -hmm. get a return out of it. When you're on site, it's very, very dynamic. In the region, obviously, weather will affect you. If it unlike in Europe where it will rain. If it's too hot and the guys can't work out the stores, you're, you're not really going to be able to do anything. Right. Technology struggles with temperature. Yeah. So in the region, we have challenges mm -hmm. specific to the region um, in that it's just too hot for certain things. And humans, unfor unfortunately for some of them, are much more adaptable so they can work in environments which are difficult. Agreed. Well, um, so technology is, a, is, is an enabler, but it isn't necessarily a solution.